Hi everyone, a loving soul here. Hope this video finds you well. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the busy mapler. We'll be talking about how you can still progress and have fun even when you're strapped for time. Keep in mind that everyone plays the game differently, so I just want to share some tips on how I make the most out of my time on some of my busier days. First, let's tackle the issue of FOMO or the fear of missing out. This describes the feeling you get when you feel bad for missing out on a event, perhaps the Star Force event that happened recently, or maybe you didn't get a chance to do a certain daily. If you're strapped for time, I just want to plant this seed, this idea into your head that it's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world if you didn't get to take out Zakum or Hilla. Maple will be waiting for you at the end of the day, so let your life priorities come first. Now here's two actionable steps to make the most out of your time in MapleStory and hopefully deal with FOMO a little better. The first step actually happens outside of the game. First, I want you to make a game plan of what you're hoping to accomplish in your Maple session of the day. Let me key you in on what I usually do in a day of MapleStory. First, I do my arcane symbol dailies for every region I've unlocked in the arcane river. I'm level 238, so I do it for every region, starting from Vanishing Journey up to Asphera. One way I keep track of the arcane symbol dailies I've done is by talking to the NPC Spiegelman. I get to check which ones I've done already and which ones I still have to do for the day. Second, I do the Legion dailies for Legion coins. This helps me pick up those tasty Legion wealth coupons for some extra mesos. In a similar vein, third, I'll usually do my two runs of Maple Tour for some easy mesos. And finally, I'll wrap up my day with some daily bosses. I'm personally only doing Pink Bean for the Pink Holy Cup, Arcarium for the Dominator Pendant and Primal Essences, and Madman Ranmaru just because he drops a bunch of flames and cubes. So now that you know what you want to get done in your day, make sure you do them in the order of highest priority. So in my case, I do it just as I listed, starting with the Arcane Force dailies because I find them the most important for my progression. Now let's take a step back and go back to the idea of FOMO. Your day of Maple Story doesn't have to look the same as mine. If you want to just have some fun and explore a new region of the Maple World, or try out a new character, go ahead and do it. But the key idea is doing what's most important to you first. The goal is at the end of your Maple session, when you have to get back to your other responsibilities, you'll know that in your heart that you made the most out of your time on Maple for the day. I hope these simple tips help you out on those days when you can only get a short play session in for Maple Story. I just wanted you to know that you can still have a jolly good time and don't let the fear of missing out diminish your experience. As always, I wish you the best of luck in the game and until next time, peace!